So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a circle question. So the question says, in the xy plane above, the circle has sensor h comma k. So we see that. And radius 10. So that was not drawn here. So I'm going to draw it in to the diagram myself. right? So that's one of the first rules of diagram questions. Label them with any provided information. Um, and then the question just asks us what the value of k is. So, you know, having this added in radius with a known distance between the two, I think that the most, you know, most students are going to think about the distance formula. I am not a big fan of using the distance formula on this test. Um, it doesn't usually work out for me for some reason. So what I've learned to do is instead of using the distance formula, I like to create a right triangle, and you'll see how in a second, and use Pythagorean theorem. All right, so if I know at least one side length of a distance, then I use I use the Pythagorean theorem. So how do I do that? I use a different color. So here again is my radius, it's 10. I'm gonna drop a line here, make that a right angle. And there's my right triangle, right, in red. Okay. Now, I have to make a couple of assumptions, but the assumptions are, are really based in reality here. Um, so first of all, we have these points on the circle, right? A circle is symmetric. These two points are on the x-axis here. So I'm going to assume that the midway point lines up with the center. And that, that's a good assumption to make. If that is the case, then I'm just looking to move to the right from my four, half of the entire distance from four to 20. That entire distance is 16, which means the half, the distance from the left to the halfway point is eight, which makes this eight and makes this 12, right? So four plus eight is 12. And then I have a right triangle where I know the hypotenuse is 10. I know the base is eight, and therefore I know that the height must be six. How do I know that? Well, I could use Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, in which case I'd have like eight squared plus b squared equals 10 squared. If you do the math there, b will equal six. But I knew that without using Pythagorean theorem because of a three, the special right triangle, the three, four, five right triangle, and noticing that each of these side lengths are just double the three, four, five, right? So the answer here would be six.